One of the greatest, if not the greatest, duo in NBA history, Shaquille O'Neal, Kobe Bryant, reunited on NBA 2K23. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video. We're going to get to the builds, the gameplay, the crazy clips, and all that in just a second. But let me be real with y'all for just a second. The other day, Shaq said something that really hit home for me. And I'm dropping this video on Thanksgiving, so I feel like it's the perfect time to talk about it. So let me put it up on the screen right now. Basically, Shaq said, I'll never get to see Kobe again in real life forever. And I should have just called. He should have called. We both should have called. Call your mom. Call your brother. Call your homeboy you used to party with in college. Forever is a long time. And I feel like we're all guilty of this. Like, we get so caught up in the day-to-day -day activities that we all have to deal with, the stress we have to deal with, the little problems that come up. You lose sight of what's really important and keeping in touch with people that you actually truly care about. Even if in the moment, maybe you're going through a hard time with them, you're mad at them, you're, you're frustrated with them about something. At the end of the day, you know you care about that person, you know you love that person. Take a second and reach out to them because you never know what life is going to throw at you or them or your family or your friends you never know what life is going to hit y'all with i know i'm certainly guilty of it i know if you slow down and take a second and think you're probably guilty of it too reach out to those people man even if in the moment y'all got a little animosity between y'all at the end of the day you know you love that person you know you care about that person you know they love and care about you reach out man reach out because you never know what life's going to deal you but let's try to transition away from that and transition to the basketball side of it one of the greatest duos we have ever seen in my opinion the greatest duo. i know you know jordan and pippen won more i know bill russell and literally anyone on the roster won more you can make that argument whatever in my opinion those three years if you if you go ability for ability against any duo in nba history i'm taking kobe and shaq the most explosive the most dynamic the most powerful the most dominant duo we have ever seen in nba history maybe i'm a little biased because i grew up watching them as a kid but besides the point man at least one of the greatest duos in nba history these dudes were i mean <laughs> If y'all didn't get to witness it, go look it up. But listen, I'm on my 7-2 brand new center build. I'm going to leave the link to that build in the description for anyone that wants it. My boy Swag is on his 6-6 six, six, ISO lock shot creating type of build. Perfect for Kobe Bryant. Let's get into this. Drop a like on the video. Let's go. But first, I want to give a shout out to the sponsor of today's video, Prize Picks. Prize Picks new 6-pick flex play might be the best thing to hit sports pick them, offering you the chance to win 25 times your cash. It's real simple. First, you got to make your picks. Whatever categories you want to choose, whatever players you trust, whatever sport you prefer, make your picks. Then you got to choose. Are they going to go over or under the predictions in those categories? The more picks you get right, the more money you make. And if you use my link in the description to sign up for prize picks today, you can use code Joe Knows to double your first deposit. Thank you to Prize Picks for sponsoring this video. So first game up, we got Kobe and Shaq versus Kobe and Shaq. What are the odds? What are the freaking odds? We step into the park and there is another Kobe and Shaq duo out there. But check it out. They're going to go right at me. It's going to be Shaq on Shaq. He hits me with the crossover, goes up for the two-hand flush. Okay, he's moving a little bit. Now he goes into the post. I get him stuck here. We got him now, right? Kobe flares up. I'm thinking Kobe's going to make a play. He gives it right back to Shaq. I don't know. Kobe just spotting up in the corner all game, but hey, maybe that's what their Kobe does, not our Kobe. I get to stop, rip down the rebound. They foul me. Now, I'm going to be honest. This is a Kobe and Shaq video, and I'm playing Shaq. And it might be the one video on my channel where I'm not going to be the main star because I'm going to be honest, my boy Swag was going absolutely nuts, especially this first game. He, he came out with a mentality to show these dudes who the real Kobe was, but he misses and I'm snagging. That 75 vert on this build goes crazy. Now it is Kobe and Shaq, so we're going to take turns. Second game is going to be more about me, but this first game is all about Kobe, all about Swag going crazy on that 6-6 build he made. Check it out. Bails out off the fade, right? I'm going to be patient. I'm going to give it back to him. Big cross size up. He sends Kobe off the camera and knocks down the three. Now check it out. Kobe size up. It's so quick. It's such a beautiful size up to watch. And it's super effective. He turns the corner, gets the dunk. Now, fadeaway three from the wing, knocks it down. 18 to two. I'm going to backdoor their Shaq. Their, their Shaq is just too slow. He has no movement at all. My build is way better. But Kobe, big cross. 
Cross back, fade away three from the corner, misses, but check out the vertical on my build. I'm gonna give Kobe another chance off the triple threat size up, signature Kobe fade in the mid range, ball game. Game number two is gonna be all about Shaq. I'm in the post, post hooking from the free throw line, big green, somehow he pushes me and I get called for a travel, but it's all good. They miss, I snag the rebound, kick it out. Kobe's open, he pulls up, he can't get it to go, but look at the snagging ability of the big dun dada build right drop step get the land but here's the thing like from an entertainment like perspective i mean i dunk on this dude that's all right but from an entertainment perspective it's way more fun to watch kobe cook than it is to watch shaq kind of just play bully ball in the post you know what i mean like shaq wasn't the type of guy that was doing like post phase i can't add a lot of variety otherwise it's not really a shack build but one thing it can do is snag rebounds and bully people inside and that's what this build can do right double spin lay in but game one was all about kobe game two is just showing you that this build can play like shack throwing this dude with the elbow drop step and all that the rest of the games are going to be kind of sweat games we're playing like purple level 99s all right so definitely stick around for that because we're playing an unorthodox style you say joe what are you talking about you have a guard and a big on this game that's unorthodox in the park everyone is running double iso basically but i'm about to show y'all even though this build was made for pro-am the amount of people in the comments saying this build will be garbage in the park i'm gonna show y'all right now you can play any way you want and win games so i'm gonna prove it to you right here this is game number three the first game was kobe going crazy second game was shaq going crazy now we're facing two 99 overall level 40 purple background straight sweats double iso double six nine like regular park lineup that everyone would say is the meta op lineup right check it out i'm gonna help in the paint here he's gonna kick to his teammate it's gonna give his teammate a fade i don't think he was ready for that it's free boards any missed shot i'm snagging but now check it out we can't double iso obviously because i can't shoot him a pure inside center made for pro-am we're going straight pick and roll like old school 2K, like 2K17 vibes, sharpshooter, glass cleaner vibes, right? Check it out. Kobe misses. It don't matter. Big Shaq is there snagging, throwing it down. Back to that pick and roll. Kobe, stop, pop on the wing. Big greens. Even though it ain't the meta, you can still win. People tell me you're not going to be able to win on that build in the park. What are you talking about? You just have to play with someone that understands the pros and cons of your build. The pros of this build is Swag could basically shoot anything he wants, and it's a free board for me. I'm snagging. The downside is his spacing is going to be a little less open because I can't shoot. So, you know, they can play lower. They can just try to stay in the paint. But anytime he misses, I'm giving him a second chance. It's a beautiful thing. Look at spin, dot me on the roll. It's literally like old school 2K. I, I know that sounds weird now. It's like 2K 17's old school 2K. It is. I mean, we're running pick and roll in the park. Where do you, you don't really see that on this game. Everything is pick and pop or double ISO because every build can shoot, but I'm on up here inside. But you got to deal with the Dundara down there. You got to deal with Big Shaq. Even if Kobe misses, I'm snagging. So this is why when people say like that build is garbage or, or that build, you know joe what do you think of this build it's always hard for me to give you like a universal answer because it all depends like if you're playing with people that understand the pros and cons of your build you can literally make anything work now obviously there's some ways to tweak builds to get more badges and all that like that's just knowing the nuances of the builder but look at the lineup we're running we have no six nine out there we don't have a six eight out there we have a six six and a seven two pure inside and we're dominating people like it ain't the meta i'm not saying it's the easiest way to win but we're out here going for clips and we're still winning i'm i'm out here going for contact dunks swag is out here shooting spin shot fadeaway three pointers like we're doing stuff that is not the most efficient way to win and it doesn't matter like this dude's getting graded out of the game swag's hitting him with the post fade to end it off i mean listen at the end of the day right there's always going to be cheese there's always going to be meta but you can win with anything Anyone that watched my build video on this on this uh, the Shack build 72 like inside center build, you guys heard me. It's I literally made this for 5v5 pro am. It's not a twos build. It definitely ain't a twos build. <laughs> I'll tell you that much. I would much rather be on my 6-9 in the park. But even with this, I'm still winning over 90% of my games. 
just because, you know, I got a teammate. Obviously, he's good, but it's also he understands my build. He's working with the build instead of just saying, nah, that build's trash and then doing his own thing. Now he's saying, okay, set me screens. If I miss, you get the board. I hit you on the roll. Sometimes we do this. Sometimes, okay, you got a mismatch. You go into the post, be patient, go up, get yourself a lane, get yourself a dunk, all that type of stuff, man. But look it, we're playing against Dirk Nowitzki, by the way. So we got Kobe and Shaq versus Dirk in this gameplay. Now, shout out to this guy. His name is Redurculus. I'm pretty sure he's actually a big supporter of mine because I've seen him tweet at me a few times but he's got like a legit dirk build right it ain't a meta build he made a legit dirk build something he wants to play on to have fun but this dude somehow i don't know how that went in right but check out this move he got on like dirk signature styles look at this hop dirk Nowitzki jumper you got the stiff walk back after and he greens it but then reality's gonna sink in right he's gonna try to hit me with like a shimmy dirk fade and i just swat it he gets the rebound right he's gonna go right back into the post he's gonna try to post fade me again shaq's gonna swat it again so you know i mean I mean, hey like i said some things are more effective than others it ain't the meta but hey he's having a good time so shout out to him my first video on my second channel actually went live just the other day it is on the screen right now if you want to see me absolutely struggle taking an nba logo quiz click that video right there let me know if you know logos better than i do